Good afternoon. I had a few requests to uh, do a tutorial on how to play Superstition. So I thought I would do that today. And a Happy New Year, by the way. So I'm playing on the Yamaha CP88, which is a great board. It has two clavs on board, a, a clav S and a clav B. I think Stevie Wonder plays a clav C, if I'm not mistaken, on the original of Superstition. But the first thing you need to remember, if you don't know this, that on the original recording there are eight tracks of clavs playing at the same time. So there's a whole lot of stuff going on with the clavs. It's not just one track. Okay, the second important thing is if you're choosing a professional keyboard, all clavs do not sound the same. So you're going to have to be discerning on what kind of clav sound you want. Now this one has two types. If you go to the clav section, you can uh, dial up the two different clavs, but you can hear kind of the difference in the versus which is the one I'm going to use uh, also you need to realize that on the original recording if you listen closely with headphones the clav is in stereo excuse me <laughs> well it is in stereo the clav has delay on it like this you hear that tail coming off there, the repetition, that's delay. Now, this clav here does not have delay. But the original does, so that's what I'm going to use on this one. I've got a combination of S and B clavs here. Um, let's see, the original Honer D6 had the little, little switches on there. You could hit the little toggle things and get a different little timber change there and and uh, that's why they call these things with the letters beside them so it's just but depends on what kind of clav sound you want to have but this is the one I choose to play with so I'm going to play it regular and then I'm going to slow it down a little bit and see so and kind of see what my hands are doing but since there's eight tracks on the original and you can't play eight different tracks at the same time you have to compensate with your left hand and with your right hand over here, guitar riffs and things, what's kind of going on. So here's what I do. Now, the reason I like the, the Yamaha CP88's clavs, they, with their update, they, they added what's called touch sensitivity in the advanced settings section where you can really change the clavs, especially in the end the EPs. But they give them this texture, real slappy and funky. <laughs> Really, really cool. <clears throat> okay, now I'm going to slow it down so you can see. I'm going to start on the A flat below middle C, and I'm going to go. And I might go. I might give it a little whatever. And then I'm going to go. See how I'll start on the D flat? Okay, and after I get down here, I'm going to keep my thumb on the E flat here, and I'm going to take my pinky on the octave below E flat while I'm doing this. And I'm going to pick it up right after that. And over here, I'm going to pick up what the guitar riff would be. 
Now you see, you can, you don't have to necessarily play the same thing every time. You can just improvise around the medley there, the melody. Get to the bridge. Now you may want to uh, add a uh, a clab with some phase on. Just add a little more, you know, jelly to the biscuit, as uh, Andy Griffith might say. So if you just want to go. So just have fun with it. Take a little practice, but uh, you can get it. We'll come back to uh, superstition. And then the other uh, clav setting. To me, it's a lot more beefy sounding, but it doesn't have that quality I'm looking for to play superstition with. So I hope that helped. If you have any questions, you can add them below. Anyway, Happy New Year. Have a great, great day.